Hello everyone. Good morning all of you. Good morning sir. Good morning sir. Yeah, very good morning. Are you able to see my screen clearly? Yes sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Shall we start the class? Yes sir. Let's continue our class. In our yesterday's class, we have finished about Linux. From today onwards, we are going to start with DevOps tools, DevOps softwares. So first software name is Git. Here you can see G-I-T, Git. Today we are going to start with first DevOps software. SW means, this is the short form, just I have written, software. First software name is Git. Either you can call it as software, otherwise you can call it as tool, T-O-O-L. Some people, they call it as software, some other people, they call it as tool. Different, different people, they use different, different English words. But everything is all about same. Okay, now here we will discuss about this Git software. For each and every software, there is one logo. Logo, symbol, image. Here you can see, this is the image. This is the logo. This is the symbol of Git software. Either you can call it as logo, image, symbol. Each and every software you can see. For Jenkins, Sansible, Git, Docker, every software. This is the symbol of Git software. Whatever the Linux commands we have discussed so far till, till yesterday, those Linux commands are completely sufficient. At least to start with our DevOps. During this DevOps course, we are going to discuss so many Linux commands. Okay, all right. So here, today I will explain about the Git software. Before you understanding about this Git software, you should know about source code management. You should know about source code management. Yeah. This is the image, this is the logo, otherwise the symbol of this Git software. Here you can see SCM. What is the full form? Source code management. Either you can call it as source code management, otherwise, even you can call it as software configuration management. Software configuration management. Okay. Here also, different different people they use different different words. Source code management, software configuration management, like that. But both are exactly same. Better to pronounce as source code management. Okay. Better to pronounce as source code management. All right. So here, before you understand about this Git software, you should know about source code management. First of all, what is the meaning of code? Code means Java developers, they write Java code. C developers, they write C code. C++ developers, they write C++ code. .NET developers, they write .NET code. Mainframes developers, they write mainframes code. Pascal, Koba, like that. So many programming languages are available. Exactly the same way. Testing team people, they write so many test cases. They write so many test cases. Exactly the same way. DevOps engineers, they write so many scripts. Scripts. Code means here, yeah, it could be Java, otherwise C, C++, .NET. It could be test cases. It could be some kind of scripts. At the end, finally, everything we call it as code, code only. 
but especially these things we call it as programming languages. But here, DevOps engineers, what are the scripts they write? What are the code they use instead of those scripts? We call it as scripting language. Instead of scripting language, otherwise a programming language, you can see core. But programming languages, code is very, very difficult. I mean, without, without learning, it is not possible to understand. For learning also, we have to spend a lot of time. But here, scripting language is very, very simple. It is like a plain English language. Nothing more than that. Even 10th class student also can understand clearly this is scripting language. So at the end, everything we call it as code. We call it as code. Normally we call it as code, but in software companies, we call it as source code. Both are exactly same. Normal people, non-IT people, generally they call it as code, but IT people, software engineers, they call it as source code. Source code means just a code. It could be, it could be by using any programming language, otherwise by using any scripting language. Code means source code. So whoever writes the code, whoever, whoever writes the code, that one we call it a source code, whoever writes the code. That, that means any person, maybe Java developer, otherwise the DevOps engineer, it could be any, any person. Management, what is the meaning of management? Management means managing the things. For example, what is the meaning of manager? Manager means he is a person who can manage situations, scenarios. Manager, managing the things. Exactly the same way. Management means, yes, how you are managing. For example, even sometimes we call it as business management, hotel management. I mean, how to manage business? How to manage one hotel? Like that, generally we study some books. So at the end here, management means how you are going to manage by, by creating new files. Here you can see by creating, otherwise, for example, modifying, modifying next step. Modifying means editing by creating, modifying, adding. Once after creating the file, what you do? We add, we add the code. Otherwise, you can delete, D-E-L-E-T. Create, after creating, you just add. After adding, in case if you want to modify any code, yes, very well, you can modify. For example, if you don't want, very well, you can delete. By using all these things, we are managing, management means. Source code means whoever writes the code. Management means by doing all these operations, we will manage. We will manage. Here you can see storage. Storage means, let's imagine, this is like a Google Drive. Google Drive. I think everyone knows about Google Drive. What is the purpose of Google Drive? You can store something. What you can store, for example, your pictures, your family pictures, audio files, video files, music, songs, anything, PDF documents, Word documents, anything you can store. Here, source code management is just one concept. Source code management is just one concept. Let's imagine, let's imagine for next half an hour, source code, source code management is like a Google Drive. Let's imagine like that. Source code management is a concept. Okay. Let's imagine this is source code management. Inside of the source code management, what you can see, you can see any code. So much of code you can see. It could be any code. Obviously, developers direct lot of code. Suppose if you refer, if you refer any Java program, C, C++, thousands of lines, you can see, thousands of lines, otherwise 5,000, 5, even 10,000 lines also, sometimes you can see. Developers, obviously, they write a lot of code. Testing team people, they write test cases. 
maybe maybe they can write 300 lines otherwise 400 lines otherwise maybe 200 lines when it comes to devops we write scripts in that script minimum you can see 20 lines of code 30 lines otherwise 50 lines otherwise 100 lines like that otherwise maximum 150 lines i mean obviously developers they write a lot of code but the testing team people they write average kind of code devops engineers we write very very small scripts maximum you can see 150 lines of code this complete code what are the code written by java developers otherwise c c++ developers what are the code written by testing team people what are the code written by devops engineers at the end finally where we are going to store that complete code here source code management here we will store that complete code for example let's say bank it could be any bank, SBA, otherwise ICIC, it could be any bank. What is the purpose of bank? Primary purpose is for storing the money, saving the money into bank. Bank is not only for rich people. Bank is not only for rich people. Bank is for everyone, rich people, average people, even poor people. Of course, rich people, they store, they save a lot of money. But it doesn't mean that bank is only for rich people. Correct or not? Bank is for rich people as well as average people as well as poor people. Everyone can store, everyone can save their money. Okay. This is for everyone. Exactly the same way, the source code management is for everyone. Testing team people, DevOps engineers as well as developers. Source code management is just one concept. In, hmm? Instead of the source code management, you can see code, nothing more than that. Instead of Google Drive, you can see some kind of data, movie, audio file, video file, like that. But when it comes to here, source code management, you can see completely code. That code will be called as source code. It could be this one, otherwise this one, otherwise this. Here you can see different people from different teams. Different people mean, first, different teams. Let's imagine this is India team. Let's imagine this is USA team. This is one team and this is another team. Instead of India team, we have different, different people. So a group, a group of people. This is our team. Team means a group of people. Let's imagine here, this is USA team. So here, different people from different teams. This is one team and this is another team can store simultaneously. Where they can store simultaneously? This is SCM. SCM means it is like a Google Drive. You just imagine like that. Once after writing the code by India team, they store that code into SCM. They store that code into SCM. Let's imagine 10% these people, they have written the code. Once after, once after storing the code, instead of this SCM, next here, USA team, it is their turn. They have to write the code. But here, before writing the code by USA team, first of all, what they will do? Here, 10% code is available. This code written by India team, a group of people. Before writing the code by USA team, first these people, what they do? First, they will push that code. First, they will, they will take that code. On top of that 10% of code, they will write some other code. Another 10%. So first here, India people, they have written 10% of code. On top of this 10% of code, they will write another 10% of code. It is like that. Again, India team people, we write another 20%, other, another 30% of code. Again, on top of that code, USA team, they write some more code. It is like this. If you observe clearly, different people, different teams can store simultaneously. What are the code? For example, here, this developer, what are the code written by this developer? That code will be stored into separately. What are the code written by this developer? That code will be saved into separately into instead of this SEM, source code management. I mean, without having any disturbances. 
these are different teams can store simultaneously without having any disturbances without having any confusion each and every person code will be saved in a separately that is the main save all changes separately without having any disturb disturbance so that easily we can understand which code written by which developer which code written by which devops engineer if you observe clearly pipeline between offshore and onshore what is the meaning of offshore here offshore means it is like a india team offshore onshore means it is like a usa team it is a pipeline what is the meaning of pipeline here this scm scm is it is acting as a pipeline for example this is one water pipe this is another water pipe this is another one more water pipe so we will attach correct or not from one water pipe to another water pipe then only the water will go like this here yeah? exactly if you if you consider this is one pipeline in this pipeline sm is acting as a pipeline okay between india team as well as us team exactly that is the meaning here pipeline between offshore and onshore team members a group of people we call it as team a group of people we call it as team helps in achieving team work as a team we are working as a team we are writing the code which one it is with the help of which one we are achieving this team work with the help of source code management with the help of this scm concept we are achieving this team work as a team otherwise as the individual person whatever the code we write completely we can store that code instead of this scm scm means just imagine it is like a one storage in that storage what you can store code we will store simple track changes minute level also each and every change you can track for example there is one file this is one file instead of this file if i add one dot otherwise if i delete one dot at the time of adding one dot easily we can understand that who added this dot instead of this file for example if you delete one small dot easily complete our team members they can understand who has deleted this dot from this file i mean minute level changes also it is possible to recognize it is possible to identify so git is very very safe and very very secure that is the reason each and every software company each and every project nowadays people are using git it is possible to track even minute level changes next scm tools for example bike bike is one concept exactly the same way scm is just one concept for implementing this bike concept hero honda company is producing some bikes suzuki company is producing some bikes yamaha company also producing some bikes different different companies they are producing some bikes but at the end bike concept is exactly same only company names are different you can see small small changes gears company name hmm? like that exactly the same way cloud cloud is just one concept c l o u d cloud is just one concept for implementing this cloud concept what are the companies are providing support for this cloud technology amazon company aws amazon web services amazon company next microsoft company microsoft company means azure microsoft azure next google company next ibm company alibaba droplets so many companies they are providing support for this cloud technology cloud concept is same only different different companies they are providing support only company names you can see different exactly the same way scm is just one concept for implementing this scm concept in the market so many softwares are available what are those here you can see 
JIT. This is the most advanced software. Next, SVL. SVL means subversion. SVL means subversion. Next, Perforce. Next one is clear case. Like that. So many softwares you can see in the market. So many SEM softwares are available. But out of those many softwares, these softwares are very, very famous. Out of these four softwares, first software that is Git. Git is very, very advanced software, very, very intelligent software. Okay. It is like this. This is one, another one, second one, third one, fourth. Four. So that is the reason today we are discussing about this Git software. Remember, SEM is just one concept. For implementing this SEM concept, so many softwares are available. Out of these many softwares, Git is very, very advanced software, very intelligent software. Next, here you can see some kind of important technology. What do you mean by important technology? We will discuss. So, did you understand here? Git means here. SEM is one concept. So here, what we do with the help of this concept, otherwise what we do with the help of Git software, storing the code as well as managing the code. Remember, storing the code, after storing the code, you can manage by modifying that code, otherwise by deleting that code, otherwise by adding that code, some other code, appending, all these things, very well we can do. Storing the code as well as managing. Now I will create one diagram. I am explaining very, very slowly. As of now, please don't ask any questions. First listen. Okay. Now I will draw one diagram. This is architecture of, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> this is architecture of Git, Git architecture. Mm. architecture of Git. What is the architecture? For each and every software, you can see some kind of architecture. It could be any software. Mm -hmm. Now, I will create one diagram. Everyone, please concentrate. Many people I observe at the time of explaining the concept, they think about some other concepts. They think about some other doubts. Please don't behave like a children. Whatever I am explaining, please focus here only. I am here to clarify all your doubts later. Okay. Yeah, please concentrate. Let's imagine there are two people. Two people are working for the same project. One person name is Hari. One person, one person name is Sai and another person name is Hari. One person name is Sai and another person name is Hari. These two people are working for the same project. Sai is working from India. Just give me one minute. I will drink some water and I, I will come back. Just one minute. Okay, let's continue. So here, the 
git architecture two people are working for the same project one person name is sai let's imagine he is working from india another person name is hari let's imagine he is working from london he is working from london let's imagine even though geographical locations are different these two people are working for the same project first sai what he will do he will create one computer by selecting india i mean mumbai region let's imagine he will create one computer for this computer he will give name he will give name as mumbai is it computer name you can give any let's imagine mumbai is it this is the computer name he has given once after giving computer name after that in this computer he will install git software git git in the bracket i am writing yes double yes double you means i mean software we will install git software once after installing git software install of this computer inside of this computer he will create one folder just he will create one folder i think you people already know how to create folder this is just one folder folder name you can give anything let's imagine he has given folder name as mumbai git you can give any name here let's imagine folder name is like a mumbai git m u m b a mumbai git this is just one folder folder name by using mkdir we can create folder this is one computer computer name is mumbai hyphen ec instead of in this computer he has installed git software let's imagine after installing git software instead of this computer he has created one folder let's imagine like that folder name is mumbai git now he will enter instead of this folder sai will enter instead of this mumbai git folder after entering instead of this folder he will execute one command he will execute one command that command is git init git git init git means that is software name init means initialization 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 means let's imagine in a similar english word it is like a create initialization process i mean it is like a starting it is like a create after entering instead of this mumbai git folder he will execute one command that command is git space init once after executing this command what will happen this folder will be divided into three stages this folder will be divided into three stages three parts this is first part next this is second part and this is third part this first part name is workspace first part name here we call it as workspace double o r k workspace s p a c workspace 
the second part ne either you can call it as index index area otherwise even you can call it as stage area just a g stage area this third part ne here we call it as local repository l o c a l local r e p o repo means repository local repository okay these are the three parts will be created not only these three and here once after executing this git init command once after executing this git init command inside of this local repository one more folder will be created one more folder will be created this folder here we call it as branch this folder here we call it as branch b r a n c h branch that folder only we call it as branch branch means just one folder you just imagine like that. exactly what happened here are you understanding there are two people two people are working for the same project even though their geographical locations are different one person is working from india another person is working from london sai first started his work i mean let's imagine he has created one computer computer name he has given as mumbai ec2 after that he has installed one software instead of this computer he has created one folder that folder name is mumbai git after entering inside of this mumbai git folder he has executed one command once after executing this command this mumbai git folder divided into three parts workspace is first part second part either you can call it as index otherwise staging area third part name you can call it as local repository instead of this third part automatically you can see one folder this folder here we call it as branch here we call it as branch okay like this let's imagine sai sai wants to start his work according to his requirement first sai what he will do he will create one file yeah he will create one file where he will create workspace first of all what is the meaning of workspace workspace is the area where you can create file where you can add some data into that file otherwise where you can add where you can modify the data instead of that file workspace is the place where you can create files where you can add some data instead of that files otherwise where you can modify some content instead of those files that area only here we call it as workspace here you can see this is workspace let's imagine sai created one file where in this workspace area file name it is like a you can give you can give any name so here let's imagine this is one file i am not going to write any name for this file once after creating the file what he will do he will write some content some data let's imagine this is the data okay something he has written let's imagine some content he has written once after writing the data instead of this file then he has to do add operation add operation means he has to send this file from workspace to staging area this is staging area either you can call it as a stage area otherwise index area he has to send sai has to send this file along with the data from workspace to staging area or index area by executing one command he can send 
this one only here we call it as add add operation along with the file data also will be available whatever the data which is available instead of that file that the data along with the file everything came to in this index area staging area see sending means don't think like it is like a cut and paste no no this is just a copy and paste this is control c and control v not control x okay this is not control x and control v this is just control c and control v copy paste it is not like a cut and paste please remember sai created one file in this workspace area after that he has written some data and next he sent this file along with the data from workspace to staging area by executing add command sending means that file is available in this workspace along with the data as well as that file is available in this index area also along with the data just copy paste after that sai what he has to do he has to send that file he has to send that file from index area otherwise staging area to this local repository local repository local repository means instead of this branch branch means this is folder instead of this local repository you can see one branch i mean folder he has to send that file along with the data instead of this branch once after sending that file here you can see where here you can see that file along with the data along with the data sending that file along with the data from index area to local repository i mean in this branch here we call it as commit process here we call it as commit process commit process in this commit process what will happen one commit id will be generated one commit id will be generated in this commit process one commit id will be generated id id means number that number you can see 40 long alpha numerical characters 40 long alpha numerical characters you can see so finally listen sai created one file along with that after that he have written some content then he sent that file workspace to staging area that file along with the data available here by executing command called add after that he will do commit process in the commit in this commit process what will happen whatever the file which is available here that file will go instead of local repository i mean instead of this branch along with the data sending that file from work, sending that file from index area to local repository here we call it as commit process in the in this commit process one commit id will be generated that number length you can see 40 long sai completed his work today sai completed his work let's match now here yes here let me create one diagram this is like a this one we call it as central repository central repository r e p o repo means repository this central repository is belongs to microsoft company this name is github g i t git h u b hub this github is belongs to which company microsoft company initially initially some community people they have created this github but later microsoft company people they have acquired right now this github is belongs to microsoft company please remember this github is like a google drive this github is like a google drive let's imagine like that 
Now here you can see that file is available in how many places? Workspace, index area, as well as instead of this local repository. I mean instead of this branch, three places that file is available along with the data. Now here, what he will do? Sai will push. Sai will push this file. Sai will push this file to this central repository. Once after pushing, that file will be available, will be coming instead of this central repository along with the data. Along with the data, what are the code written by Sai? That code also will be coming here. This one we call it as push, push operation. PUSH. Okay. Sai work completed. Let's imagine. Now, Hari's work will start. Hari is working from which location? London. Let's imagine. Hari, he will create one computer. If you want to work, first you have to create one computer. Correct or not? Let's imagine Hari created one computer in which region? London. He has given one name for his computer. That is like a London EC2. L -Y -M -D -Y. London hyphen EC2. Hari will install one software. Let's imagine he has installed. Which software? Git software. Yes, W means the software. Once after installing software into his computer, he will create one folder instead of this computer. This is one folder. This folder name, let's say it is London Git. London git. This is just one folder. You can do any name here. For our understanding purpose, let's imagine folder name is London git. Once after creating this folder, Hari will enter instead of this folder. Okay, let's imagine. After entering instead of this folder, he will execute one command. After entering instead of this folder, he will execute one command. That is git init. Git init. Init means it is like a initialization, creation, preparation. Okay, preparing the things. Once after executing this folder, once after executing this command, after entering instead of this London git folder, automatically this folder will be divided into three parts, three parts. This is first part and this is second part. This is third part. Instead of this third part, you can see one folder, one folder you can see. This folder only we call it as branch. First part name here, this is workspace. Workspace, yes, PSE. That is completely one single name, workspace. The second part name here, you can call it as index area. Otherwise, even you can call it as a stage area. Even some other people, they call it as buffer area. All these are English synonyms. Next, this third part name is local repository. Local repository. Next here you can see this is branch. We call it as branch. branch.
we call it as branch. So, Hari also installed that software. Everything is ready. Before start writing the code by Hari, first what he has to do. Before start writing the code by Hari, first what he has to do. Instead of this GitHub repository, instead of this central repository, okay. Already there is one file. Instead of that file, we can see some content, some data. This file written by, this file created by Sai, this code written by Sai. Before start writing the code by Hari, first he has to pull that file. He has to do which operation? Pull operation. Once after pulling, once after pulling, what will happen? This is like a pull. You know, right? Pull, push. Pull. Once after pulling, what are the file which is available instead of this central repository? That file automatically will be available in this workspace as well as index area. Even instead of this branch, I mean instead of this local repository, along with the data, in these three places, that file will be available. Once after pulling, this code written by Sai. Let's imagine Hari already pulled that file, came instead of workspace, index area, as well as local repository. This code written by Sai. On top of this code, now Hari is, Hari is going to write some code on top of this existing code. Let's imagine now Hari is writing some code like this. Once after pulling, whatever the code written by Sai, that code along with the file came instead of Hari's computer. On top of this existing code, Hari will write some code, some more code. For example, like this. Where he is writing the code? Workspace. Workspace is the place where you can create files, where you can write some code. Otherwise, where you can modify some code instead of that file. In this workspace area, he has written some code. Let's imagine. Once after, once after writing that code, what he has to do? He has to send. He has to send this code from workspace to index area. Workspace to index area. Like this. this one we call it as add. Which operation? Add operation. A, D, D. Once after executing this add command, whatever the code, Hari written recently, that code will be coming instead of this index area, index area. Coming means that code is available here as well as here. Copy paste everything is. Next, what he will do? Now he will do commit operation. Now he will send that code from index area to instead of this local repository instead of this local repository. I mean, instead of this branch, that code will go here. Sending the code from index area to local repository, here we call it as commit process. In, the commit, in this commit process, one commit ID will be generated. This one here we call it as we call it as commit process. In the, in this commit process, one commit ID will be generated. That commit ID length 40 long alpha numerical characters. All right. Okay, Hari also written some code on top of size code. Once after completing Hari's work, then finally what he will do? He will push. He will push. 
he will push the code to repository github he will push push operation once after pushing what will happen what are the code written by what are the code written by hari that code will be coming into here okay that code will be coming into here now again before start writing the code by sai first he has to pull that code again here before start writing the code by sai first he has to pull now sai is pulling that code sai will pull he will do pull operation p u l n once after pulling what are the code which is available in this central repository what are the latest code which is available in this central repository that code will be coming instead of size computer i mean instead of this folder how many locations these three locations workspace area and index area and even local repository successfully he has pulled after pulling again sai will write some code on top of this code on top of this code again sai will write some more code where he will write workspace on top of that existing code sai wants to add some more code once after writing again sai will do add operation once after completing this add operation that code latest code written by sai that code will be available instead of index area or staging area after that he will do commit process in this commit process again one more commit id will be generated once after completing that commit process that code will be coming instead of this local repository i mean instead of this branch here for sending that latest code from index area to local repository one more new commit id will be generated let's imagine sai completed his work after completing his work what he has to do again sai has to push again sai has to push this is push operation sai is pushing ush once after pushing that latest code whatever the latest code written by sai that latest code will be coming here coming instead of this github again before start writing the code by hari first what he has to do he has to pull hari has to pull so here hari is pulling that code p u l n pulling once after pulling that code will be coming instead of three locations what are those workspace area next index area or staging area and third one is local repository i mean instead of this branch so this is how it will work once after pulling again hari will write some more code on top of this existing code this is how it will work okay here this is the architecture of git if two people are there this is the architecture for example if more people are working that concept later i will tell you here this is the architecture of git okay two people are working for the same project even though their geographical locations are different one person is working from india another person is working from london india it is like a offshore london it is like a on site okay let's imagine i hope it is clear let me open these slides what i will do just one minute
I will say. Now here you can understand right this is branch this is branch okay let me explain you just have a look about this diagram okay at the time of explaining i will open this diagram and then i will explain all these terminologies if you are having any doubts just wait okay i will clarify all your doubts no hurry don't take any tension about all your doubts i will clarify let me clear the screen. Important terminology. Important terminology means these are the English words we use in this SCM concept. At the time of working with this SCM concept, we will use. SCM concept means here so many softwares will be coming under this SEM concept, for example, gate, SVN, clear case, purpose, it could be anything. Okay, what are the English words we will use in this SEM concept? It is like this. Normally, we call it as computer, but when it comes to AWS, we must call it as instance. Same way. Important terminology. Repository. Either you can call it as repository, otherwise, you can call it as depot. Both are exactly the same. Repository or depot. What do you mean by repository? What do you mean by depot here? This is central repository. Which one? This one. GitHub is a central repository. Local repository, where you can see, here you can see local repository. I mean, from here to here. This is local repository. This is size local repository, and this is Hari's local repository. This is GitHub. It is central repository. Okay, repository means this one. This is central repository. This is local repository. These two are. Next. Server. What is the meaning of server? Server means computer. Computer only we call it as server. High configuration computer only we call it as server. Here, how many computers you can see? Two computers you can see. Sai created one computer, that computer name is Mumbai EC2. Hari created one more computer, that computer name is London EC2. These are the two servers. Next, workspace. Either you can call it as workspace, otherwise work directory, otherwise work tree. Directory means folder. In Windows, we call it as folder. Linux, we call it as directory. Work folder means what is the meaning of work folder? There is one folder. In that folder, you are working. Otherwise, in that folder, you are storing some data. Maybe it could be like a movie, audio file, picture. It could be something. Work folder only, we call it as work directory. Nothing more than that. Either you can call it as workspace, otherwise work directory, otherwise work tree. Many people, they get confused. Hey, Harry, what do you mean by workspace? For example, this fold, this is one folder. This is my workspace. Otherwise, this is another folder. This is my workspace. When, when you open your computer, computer is all about files and folders. Nothing more than that. Correct? Or? Wherever you go, you can go to any drive. You can go anywhere in your computer. Everything is all about folders and files. Nothing more than that. For example, this is one folder. Inside of this folder, yeah, you can see one PDF document. Otherwise, I can store some movie. Otherwise, maybe my family pictures also I can store. Workspace is just one folder where you can store some data. It could be your personal data. Otherwise, it could be your office data. 
That is the meaning of workspace. For example, here, DevOps 730 AM. All your batch related videos, I will store instead of this folder. This is my workspace. This is my workspace. It is like this. For example, this is my desktop. Desktop is my workspace where I can store, I can save so many PDF documents, so many applications, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, like this. That is the meaning of workspace, nothing more than that. Either you can call it as workspace, otherwise you can call it as work directory, otherwise even you can call it as work directory. When it comes to Git, what do you mean by workspace? Here you can see, this one we call it as workspace. This one we call it as workspace. Workspace is the place where you create some files, where you can enter some data instead of those files. Otherwise, where you can modify some data, some content instead of those files. That location only here we call it as workspace. Okay. Either you can call it as workspace, work tree, otherwise work directory. All are English synonyms. Next here you can see branch. Branch. Branch trunk code line. In legacy softwares, I mean world, world softwares, we use it to use this kind of language. Code line, trunk, we call it. We use it to call it as trunk or code line. But when it comes to Git, here we call it as branch. Either branch or trunk or code line. All are synonyms. What is the meaning of branch here? This is the meaning of branch. This is branch. Okay. This is the branch. Next, here you can see, this is branch. Instead of Harry's computer, you can see one branch. I mean, instead of this folder, you can see this branch. Exactly the same way. Instead of size computer, instead of this Mumbai Git folder, you can see this branch. That is a meaning of branch. Either you can call it as a trunk, otherwise code line. In this Git, we use this word branch. Next, commit to check-in. For example, SVN, Purpose, Clear Case, some other softwares, some other SEM softwares. We use a check-in is the word. But when it comes to Git, we use commit. What is the meaning of commit? You just observe here. This is our diagram. Commit means here. Either that file, otherwise data, which is available, which is available instead of this file. Sending that file, otherwise sending that data from index area to local repository. Local repository means instead of this branch. This process, this process only here we call it as commit process. In this commit process, commit ID will be generated. That is 40 long alpha numerical characters. That is the meaning of commit. Next, here you can see version, version ID committed. Either you can call it as version, version ID committed. All are English synonyms. Okay. Different, different SEM softwares, we use different, different words. Some other ACM softwares, we call it as version, version ID. But in this Git, we call it as commit ID. Commit ID means, I mean this one. This 40 long alpha numerical characters, it will be generated. That one here we call it as commit ID. Next tag. What is the meaning of tag? For example, my name is Hari. This is my tag. If I don't have any name, how people can call me, how people can recognize me, that is the reason my parents have given me one name. That name only, here we call it as tag. We have created some computers. For each and every computer, we have given one meaningful name. Giving one meaningful name for each and every computer, we call it as assigning one tag. By looking the tag, you can understand clearly. Here also, exactly same like that. I said, so many commit IDs will be generated. 
multiple commit IDs will be generated. Human beings, we can remember only names. That is the reason my name is Hari, your name is something else. But computers can remember only numbers. Computers can remember only numbers. Okay. That is the reason here you can see 40 lakh alphanumerical characters generated. Remembering these many numbers, it is not possible. Correct, Anna? That is the reason we will assign one meaningful name for this number. Assigning one meaningful name for this number only, here we call it as tag, git tag. Otherwise, tag. Tag means giving one meaningful name for this number. In other words, in my phone, so many phone numbers are available. But I cannot remember those many phone numbers. That is completely very, very difficult for me. Maybe I can remember my mom, my father, my brother. Phone number, I can remember. But remaining phone numbers, it is not possible to remember. That is the reason what I have done. Let's imagine this is one phone number. Let's imagine. Okay. <clears throat> for this phone number, I have given one name. I have saved this phone number with me. Whenever I would like to call, simply I refer this name so that immediately, easily we can call. You no need to remember this complete number. You just save that number with one meaningful name. Here, this name only we call it a stack because I cannot remember numbers. That is the reason I am saving with this name. Exactly the same. That is the meaning of tag. I hope it is clear. Next, important terminology. Here also, we are going to understand some of the important words. These words we use in this Git, at the time of working with this Git software. Otherwise, in this SEM, SEM concept. Git is just one software, will be coming under this SEM, SEM concept. Okay. For implementing this concept, here we are using Git. Previously, we used to use Subversion, clear case, perforce. But nowadays we are using Git. Repository. Repository means what is the meaning of repository? Repository is like a, let's imagine it is like a Google Drive. Google Drive is a storage. Let's imagine it is like a, your hard disk. Your hard disk is storage. You can store something. But here repository means we are storing. What you are storing in this storage? In this storage, we are storing code. Storage. Just imagine it is like a folder. So what we are storing? Here we are storing code. Where you can see? Here you can see. It, this is local repository. We are storing files along with the data. This is central repository. Here also we are storing the storing code. Here we are storing the code. This is also local repository. Local repository, central repository. And this is local repository. It is just like a one folder. Instead of this folder, we are storing some data. Next, server. Server means EC2 instances. Two computers you can see. Sai created one computer, Hari created one computer. These computers only we call it as servers. Store all repositories. All repository means instead of Sai's computer, you can see one repository local repository okay this is this is local repository instead of Hari's computer here you can see one repository instead of this repository he will store where instead of this branch instead of those instead of this local repository you can see one more folder instead of this folder we are storing it is like this directly it is storing instead of this local repository it is not possible without branch Instead of that branch only, it is possible to store. That branch is available where instead of local repository. Next. Please consider it. All these are very important. Important terminology. Here also we are going to discuss about some important terminology. By looking this diagram, what you can understand? This is one tree. This is another tree. These are trees. For each and every tree, you can see multiple branches. These are branches. Correct? 
for this tree you can see more branches for this tree you can see less branches for this one you can see branches these things we call it as branch here now we are talking about a branch here what is the meaning of branch when it comes to our software git software branch means now i am talking about this folder this folder we call it as branch here i am talking about this folder we call it as branch b r a n c h product is same so one repository but different task otherwise different ideas product is same means let's imagine icic bank website icic bank website this is this is our product let's imagine for this one product one repository is completely sufficient this is one repository instead of harris computer instead of size computer you can see one repository this is like a repo product is product is same i mean one product that is the reason one repository but different task instead of this repository here you can see branch this is the branch b r a n c h instead of this branch we will store this product related information this is the meaning of this one so product is same means it is like a one and one repository this is one repository instead of this branch you can see you can see this one here what you can do when you open icic bank website you could be any website different different ideas we can implement what do you mean by different different ideas let me open any website maybe hdfc maybe sidemi maybe netflix it could be any icic bank.com once if i open here you can see different different ideas different different ideas means for example personal is one idea nri is one more idea business is one more idea corporate is one more idea accounts once if i select account section here you can see savings account deposits forex ways to bank cards it is like a once if i select cards this is credit card is one concept debit card is another concept like this forex cards different different i mean each and every option is like a one new implement one new idea different different logic here also i am talking about that so product is same icic bank only all these options will be coming under icic bank website correct or not loans cards accounts invest insure everything so product is same so one repository but different different task different different ideas that is the meaning of that tree is only one tree but for this tree you can see multiple branches exactly the same multiple ideas next one is each task each idea has one separate branch each task or each idea has one separate branch this is one repository instead of this repository you can create multiple branches by default one branch will be available by default one branch is available by default branch we call it as master m a s t r default branch we call it as master okay please remember along with this default branch you can create multiple branches for example this is another branch this is one more branch branch is branch means it is just one folder by default one folder is available you can create multiple folders nothing more than that. each task or each idea has one separate branch so here you can write the logic for credit cards section in this branch you can write logic for debit cards section in this branch you can write logic for loans okay different different ideas that is the reason different different branches 
Next, finally, merge all branches. Three branches. Finally, what we do here? We have some code. Here also we have some code. Here also we have some code. This is credit card code. This is debit card code. This is loans section. At the finally, we merge that complete code in this, which is available in these three branches. That is the main. Next, for parallel development. First of all, what is the purpose of creating multiple branches? This is one branch. This is another branch. This is one more branch. All these are available instead of repository. What is the purpose for parallel development? Implement, implement multiple ideas, new, new ideas. Here, we are implementing one idea card, credit cards. Here, we are implementing another idea card, debit card. Here, we are implementing another idea card, loans. It is like this. For example, if it is one single branch, is it possible to implement multiple ideas? No, we will get confused. That is the reason for parallelly, you can do the development work. I can work here, Hari. Sai can work in this debit card section. Maybe Rajesh can work in this loans section, parallel development, so that we can try to finish the work very, very fast without having any dependency. Next. Create any number of branches. Instead of this repository, you can create any number of branches like this. Any number of branches. But by default, branch name is master. That is, please remember. This is branch. By default, this branch got created. This default branch name is master. Master. Please remember. This branch name also master. M A S T R master. That is the name they have given. Next. Changes are personal to that particular branch. I mean, what is the meaning of this one? Changes are personal to that particular branch. Let's imagine as of now, instead of this local repository, instead of this local repository, here we have only one branch. That branch name is master. I can create some other branch. For example, this is one more branch. This is one more branch. If I do any modifications inside of this branch, those modifications will be applicable only inside that branch, inside that particular branch. For example, in this branch, if I do any modifications, those modifications will be applicable only instead of that particular branch. Branch means it is like a folder. What are the modifications you are doing? Those modifications will be applicable only inside of that particular branch. Next. Can put files only in branches, not in repository directly. That means, that means here. Yeah. Without this branch concept, directly, directly keeping the files instead of this local repository, it is not possible. Only it is possible to put the files instead of branch. Okay, that branch will be available where instead of local repository. Next, default branch name is master. Don't think like this is the repository. Are you people? Instead of this repository, by default branch name is master. You can create some other branches like this. Okay. Branch means it is like a folder. For example, you can give like this is like a A, this is like a B, this is like a X. But here, don't think like master branch will control some other branches. No. No, it is not like that. Just they have given name as master. But it doesn't mean that master branch will control other branches. No, not like that. For example, in my house, I have one dog. But the dog name I have given as a tiger. Do you think? Dog will become tiger. No, dog remains dog only. But name just I have given as a tiger. Exactly the same way. That branch name is a master. Don't think like this master branch will control some other branches. Okay. Dog never will become tiger. Just name as tiger. That's it. Next here you can see. This line, 
even though if i explain 100 times at this moment it is not possible to understand okay even though if i explain 100 times when you can understand once after starting practicals in this gate then only it is possible to understand this line once after starting our practicals again we will come back again i will open this slide that time i will explain what is the meaning of this point as of now just forget about this point okay don't think about this point so i will explain this slide after that we will close our class okay just wait for another 5 minutes important terminology here also we are going to learn some kind some important words these words we use in this kit after joining the company when you are working with the git software especially you have to use all these important terminology workspace workspace either you can call it as workspace or working directory already you know workspace is a place otherwise working directory is a place where you can create some files where you can write where you can enter some code otherwise where you can modify that code and here one more thing you have to understand it clearly see guys this workspace you can see physically you can see next even this local repository also you can see physically but this staging area that is just virtual area it is not possible to see this index area this staging area that is just virtual area it is not possible to see this workspace you can see physically this local repository also you can see physically i mean branches local repository means i mean branch which branch by default master which branch by default master let's come back here you can see workspace or working directory otherwise work tree where you work this is the place only we work work means create file write some code otherwise modify some code that one we call it as work next where you see files physically and do modifications all these things where you can do where you can do workspace next version version id committed in this git we call it as committed but in some other scm softwares we call it as version or version id but all are exactly same commit id means 40 long numerical characters you can see okay commit to process what is the meaning of commit to process let me tell you sending one file from index area to local repository i mean instead of this branch otherwise sending some data some content a few lines from index area to local repository i mean instead of this branch this process only here we call it as commit process in this commit process one commit id will be generated that commit id length 40 long alpha alpha numerical characters 40 long alpha numerical characters okay it is a combination of alphabets and numbers here you can see reference reference to identify each change who did the change what you can do i mean what you can observe before explaining this point let me tell you nowadays everyone we are using net banking net net banking otherwise paytm otherwise even people are using phone pay for sending the money phone pay otherwise google pay g pay correct na either by using net banking otherwise phone pay otherwise paytm otherwise g pay google pay otherwise maybe paypal it could be any let's imagine if i send 1 lakh rupee to my friend 1 lakh rupee to my friend one transaction id generated correct na one transaction number either by using net banking phone pay or paytm or google pay if i send 1 lakh to my friend one transaction id will be generated transaction number for example if i send only 1 rupee that time also one new transaction id will be generated correct or not either it could be 1 lakh otherwise 1 crore otherwise maybe one single rupee 
transaction ID will be generated. By taking the transaction ID, if you go to the bank, if you if you give that transaction ID to bank people, they will tell you all the details. Which person is sending money to which person? How much money? What is the time? What is the date? Everything they will tell you. Correct? Anna? By using that transaction number. Transaction number. Exactly the same way here also. With the help of this commit ID, easily you can identify who created file, who written some code, who modified that code, who deleted that code. Each and every point, each and every details, we can understand it clearly by using this commit ID. Commit ID is like a transaction number. Reference to identify each change. Who did the change? Who created that file and who modified? Who did some changes? Everything we can understand with the help of commit ID. Next tag. Tag means already you know. Giving one meaningful name for this commit ID because it is not possible to remember those many commit IDs, those many commit numbers. So this is all about our today's class. I hope it is clear. In case if you don't have any doubts, you can skip this meeting. If you are having any doubts, stay here. I will clarify all your doubts. Yes, definitely, Sveta. I will, I will send this diagram also. Nagaraju, both are exactly same. Okay. Both are exactly same. I will give permission. Yes, I have given permission. First of all, did you understand this diagram? Please respond. No, sir. Guys, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Okay. okay. So, this diagram here you can see, this is the architecture of Git. If two people are working for the same project, this is the architecture. If multiple people, later we will discuss. Yes, now you can ask all your doubts. I will share this diagram. This is screenshot also I will share. Along with this recording video. Yes, now you can ask all your doubts. Yes, you can ask me. Instead of, instead of chatting, directly you please ask me here. Kasi, your doubt, in our coming classes I will clarify. Okay? Today, just we have started. Still we have long journey today only just we have started moving okay 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 yeah remaining people any doubts from anyone upcoming doubts please don't ask ask only doubts related to our today's class otherwise our previous classes are in this index we will use linux workspace or index stage local ah, yes yes correct everything is linux only here we here we will use Linux. Yes, sir. And one more thing, very, very important thing. Before attending, before attending my tomorrow's class, before attending my tomorrow's class, this recording video, please watch two to three times so that you will you will be familiar with all these uh, Git terminology, SCM terminology. Then only you can understand more clarity about our tomorrow's class. Okay. At least try to watch two times so that it will be clear tomorrow's class day after tomorrow's class yeah. okay guys have a nice day all of you we'll meet tomorrow thank you Ari. okay thanks thank you sir yeah all right guys